One. Jelly or ketchup? Ketchup. Jelly for me. Uh, he wants jelly. I don't know why, but he wants. Okay. What kind do you want? Uh, strawberry. Strawberry. Charles W. Caps Museum. Okay, Andy's. Okay, I see Andy's. Andy's, yeah. So go straight. Well, you're still going south on this. And then you're going to take the first right after um, that big, pretty house. That be Maple Street? I think so, maybe. You say first. Oh my god, we finally got here. Oh, you from y'all for it? Oh, okay. So I think it's like what, four and a half hours for y'all too? No, it took five and a half. And then we got lost. Mm -hmm. His directions got us here. Mine, for some reason, it led into the apartment. Mine put me, I think it was on Maple Street or something? Yeah, Village Apartments or village, something. They put them in my um, English and math just to get those out of the way. In here? Um, no, 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 you won't take it in here. You'll actually start out so it doubles a little bit quicker. Um, so I was able to finish within about three years, three and a half. Uh, wrong way, but I feel like I'm in the bar. <laughs> no. like I'm in the bar. <laughs> That's my favorite thing. I think as far as uh, my career, I love, I do a lot of, not bar singing. But not bar, club. Like right. Club. Exactly. That kind of this song has been released yet? or? Um, not this version. We have to oh, the original version. The original version, I think so. I think it's called My Luck Stays the Same, if you want to look it up. <laughs> yeah, I can. that's what I hear in the hook. It's a song by Beyonce, because you really do sound like Beyonce. Thank you. <laughs> I'd say my favorite artist. I listened to her a lot when I was in high school. I love Ariana Grande. Oh, yeah. Janis Joplin. A lot of those female powerhouse vocalists. My favorite. But your, your voice is very controlled. Like a Jennifer Hudson. Yeah, it's not belting out, it's belting out. Right. Very controlled. Took a lot of learning how to do that. Once I got here, I kind of learned how to control my voice. I wanted to do, when I was younger, I wanted to just be big and out there. Oh, yeah. Learning the dynamics. Once you learn dynamics, you're on a whole different level as a singer. And vocal range. Yeah, vocal performance here. We do, uh, not in this program. They have like in the music majors, they have vocal coaches, but it's more classical stuff. So. Oh, exactly. yeah, okay. it's not yeah. my thing. Opera, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they have those classes at the high school. Yeah. This is why I like it so much because it kind of reminds me of some of the classes I took at my school. Yeah, yeah. I'm from Gulfport. Oh, I thought you said you were from California. Let me go see if I brought my phone. Oh, that's cool. So the whole session from Pro Tools is on the TV right yeah. here. Yeah, yeah. So show. I really like that feature because when I'm recording in here, I can kind of just look at the engineer and talk to them through the mic and be like, we're at second 3:30. You know. So you record in here, and the control room engineer is recording. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, just the same thing where he said the other mm -hmm. studios. So it's a tracking room. We have our isolation booths in the back. Um, I really like recording in here. Mic stands. Mic stands. XLR right cable. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We're getting a new uh, pianos here. Does it play? Yeah. A. Do you play it all? A little bit. I teach myself because I produce, of course. Yeah. So you'll have to take um, a couple of music very theory. minor kind of music theory, so not too mm. much, but you'll at least learn about different chord progressions. And the majors, the minors, the diminished chords, everything else. Yes. So. I've gotten a lot better. That's a song or you're freestyling? <laughs> uh, it's a song that 
I wrote. Oh, that's interesting. Have you took lessons before you attended college? Um, a little bit. I was not oh. great at my lessons. <laughs> so I do way more freestyle. That's why I say I know. And, and you're not mon monotone in one, one voice. It's, right. It shifts, it changes. Not modulating, but low, high. You see the contrast. Yeah. yeah. It took a lot of work to get there. That's good. How many studios are in the campus in total? So this is our... Oh, in this building, I mean. So pretty much four. <laughs> oh, really? Four, we kind of count the sound, sandbox halfway. You know, it's like your personal <laughs> at-home studio, pretty yeah. much. But it is a studio, but we have Studio C, Studio B, and then A. Oh, the one we're about to go. Uh, that one's our Baghdad studio, which we're doing a lot of renovations in right now, but it's beautiful. Wait, this is a spaceship, right? No. Oh, it's not? We're not there yet. Don't have anything to do with it. We have a few isolation beats in the back. We have this one of isolation beats. No, I can't hide. But I want you. Yeah, my favorite thing is sing with the band. I'd like to get a jazz group together at some point. I love Billy Holiday, Anna James, all of that. Round and yes. We're redoing our rack that's been in here. So. Our what? Our rack. Oh, okay. Rack? Rack. So, yeah. R-A-C-K. So yeah, this is called a rack. So we used to have all of it right here, but it was kind of difficult. So. If we had our engineer right here, they'd have to come all the way over here, deal with it. But now we have it set up to where we're going to have it set up to where they can turn around and just. I think Mr. Sutton's would love these shots. Yeah. A rack yeah. system. I know in Ableton it's like drum rack. It's like racks for instruments. and Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So um, this is Studio A. This is a fully analog and digital board. It's one of the only ones in the southern region. Very, very nice. Um, but yeah, once our students kind of come in this room and learn how to use everything, they uh, don't leave. We have this giant TV. Let's see. Um, so when our students come in here and they have class, we'll just pretty much have... A computer on a TV screen. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> you know, you don't have to look at the Oh, screen. a second TV. I thought right. you were talking about that screen right there. Yeah, we have this one. So whatever students are watching, they get to see the entire process happening um, right there. Do y'all watch movies in here sometimes? <laughs> I know I that's a silly sometimes question. sometimes they'll come in here and you know, <laughs> play music videos and whatnot. It's a oh, great place okay. to come in here and do that because the system is so nice. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, with the sound and everything. Yes. Yeah. But, um... You have like six speakers. Wow. Yeah, Maybe so eight. The speakers are kind of used for different things. Um, oh. Ones on the right, those are going to be like the really, really nice speakers that are going to give like that absolutely big, beautiful, bold sound. Um, the Yamahas, I think, are a uh, little bit lesser of quality, but they're still really good. I'd say that's probably, like, if you have a nice sound system at your house or you have, like, some JBLs in your car, that's probably what that sounds like. Um, the Aventones, that's going to give you more of, um, the, the lesser of all the sounds. Maybe if you want to see what it sounds like coming out of your phone or maybe just a crappier car speaker that kind of thing yeah for different quality purposes exactly. so, from an audio engineer standpoint like which speakers are mono and stereo like which ones play so, solely so pan, I think so. they can all be mono or stereo oh you could change them that's awesome yeah, as far as the input just your input of right input. so technically when you're mixing you can pan things to the left or right so that's really going to control whether or not you're having that mono or stereo sound i think so this is for the audio engineer classes audio technology mm -hmm. Oh, that's yeah. amazing. Um, but even aside from that, if you're on like the entrepreneurial side and you're an artist like me, I've spent countless hours in all of these studios collaborating with the audio engineers, um, recording vocals or writing songs. So you'll have more than just audio engineers um, either in your classes or working outside of classes. 
um, that's kind of where the whole collaboration thing comes in. So when I say it's really important to make sure you're making friends within the DMI and um, starting to network early because, you know, the sooner you make friends in here, you're going to know who you want to hang out with, whose talent you really take into, um, who you work well with. Because that's what the industry is all about. That's what pretty much every industry is about, connection. That does sound familiar. The instrument they go, do 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 that sound familiar. I might have heard it already and never realized. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. They just asked me to sing on it. Oh, okay. I get it. I did um, event coordination. That's another thing that I really enjoy doing. So, organizing concerts, events. Um, I did an open mic night at one of the local bars around here. And, um, yeah, that's my like, say something. But, um,